from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hello everyone, I'm Stephanie Simone. Here are some of the headlines we're following. In Brantford, a doctor facing charges accused of sexually assaulting a 20-year-old female patient during a scheduled medical examination. Dr. Michael Sheehan was released after posting bail and is due in court next month. Police in New York finally made an arrest in connection with the killings of at least four and as many as 10 people on Long Island, New York. 59-year-old Rex Hewerman appeared in Long Island court in connection to the notorious Gilgo B murderers case. Friday, he pleaded not guilty to three counts of first degree and three counts of second degree murder. One of those bodies was that of 25-year-old Maureen Brainerd Barnes from Norwich, who police say was abducted in 2007. Right now, he is not charged in the killing of her, but is considered the prime suspect. And Sonia police are investigating a shooting on Hodge Avenue. It happened Friday just before noon. Police say a man now in the hospital, but the police could not comment on the extent of his injuries. North of us, President Joe Biden approved a disaster declaration for several Vermont counties after the flooding nightmare in several parts of that state. The declaration makes federal funding available to affected individuals in six different counties. This includes Windsor, where the ski resort town of Ludlow is located. Early warning weather alerts in effect overnight. And there could be a few showers and thunderstorms, but the rain chance really calms down a lot on Saturday. It's the day to enjoy the outdoors. There still could be a hit or miss shower, thunderstorm. And then here comes more numerous showers and thunderstorms, maybe a couple of rounds of that on Sunday. And that's why we have another alert, all because we have that renewed risk for flooding that can quickly happen. After Sunday, Monday is dry and hot. We see a cold front and some showers and storms Tuesday. And then slightly drier, more comfortable air filters in for a change Wednesday into Thursday. Next Friday, we'll start to see some showers and thunderstorms popping back up. Overnight lows in the 70s until we get to Wednesday. We're down into the 60s, and those shoreline temperatures will be in the upper 80s by Monday, but generally in the 80s on a daily basis.